Florida lawsuits and fraud in the inducement. How do you prove fraud in the inducement or signing a document and not knowing what was signed or arguing that you didn't know what you were signing or that you didn't sign it? How do you prove that in a court of law with the correct testimony? Now, there's a very recent case that was just handed down April 6, 2018 by Florida's Second District Court of Appeal on fraud and the inducement. It had to do with a promissory note, a loan document, and it's very, very important because the court tells you what the testimony at trial revealed and how that was deficient or not deficient. Very important, right? If you're claiming there's fraud, you generally have to allege that with specificity. The court wants particular acts of fraud, particular elements, particular allegations that tell the court exactly what the fraud was, then you have to prove it at trial. How do you prove fraud at trial? You need great testimony or you need documents and you need somebody to bring those documents into evidence. A great case to read where the fraud and the inducement really wasn't demonstrated at trial. It gives you a, a great lesson on testimony, what you need to prove fraud and the inducement, and what is deficient, and, and, and what you expect or should expect from your witnesses to win your fraud case. AGIA versus OC, A-G-I-A versus OC, O-S-S-I, April 6, 2018. You can read this fraud case free of charge at the opinion section of the Second District Court of Appeal website.